So obviously this guy's having a bad day. He has a pole through him. So this is obviously not a very um, common scenario, but it's more of a, how can we handle this kind of problem if we come across it? So super rare, but what kind of tools do we have to mitigate this kind of issue? The patient is gonna be unconscious, uh, but the vitals are stable. So end goal is to get him out of the car in a stable state. Yeah, before we cut it, we got to make sure that our paramedic is ready. We don't want this pipe to move or spin or heat up or do anything. The main idea of this is he's super stable now. He can become unstable with a little bit of movement. So we don't want anything to impinge. He will fit if we cut the seat and just drag him out. But if this is a car or something like that, I would want everything just out of the way so we can really focus on this. And as far as cutting the pole, when you're gonna cut it, you just wanna make sure it's not gonna heat up on your patient, so you can put a hand on it. You can cool it down. We have water, we have rags, we have all this kind of stuff. We can use a circular saw or the saws if that's all you have. You just have to try to compensate for the vibration if it's gonna be the circular saw. We didn't necessarily need to cut the roof on this. I think for it being a very kind of technical interior part of the extrication, it just creates space and get everything out of the way because a mess up here is what's going to kill your patient if you have the time to work to get stuff away from it so you don't lift them up and bonk them on the head there. And if you get to the entire seat, it's more difficult to transport because it's more things, but it's actually better for your patient. It's containing him, like, kind of like a kid. And, and every single car is different now, too. When we talked about newer cars, there, there's a lot more stuff in your seats. There's a lot more wires running from both. So we had a little bit of problem with uh, like having to need some snips just for a little bit of fabric. So you may need to cut some fabric. There may be wires in there for the heated backrests that massage you and do all that fancy stuff. But if you can get to the bolts, just zipping them off with the tool that they actually use to put them in, it's probably not very invasive and probably not very rocky for your patient. It does seem that most of the cars that we do this on, this back one, if there's a center console, is almost impossible to get to. But just something to think about if we have to remove a seat, because we don't do this very often. We don't really ever have a reason to, but in the small case that we do, just options. Can we take it out the way they put it in? No. Can we cut the rails to take the whole seat together? Yes. No. If we can't, cut the seat back. Do we have to dissect the back of the seat? If you recline it off and that pulls through it, if you don't dissect a giant hole around it, it's going to pull on that pole. But if you basically hollow out the entire seat, maybe you can just recline it off. So this seat didn't have any metal inside of it, just had a bunch of fabric, but there are some that have giant metal plates. If you look at the Tesla, something actually punctures all the way through that, you're not gonna be able to cut through that metal to create a bigger hole. There's no right or wrong way, every single car is different.